Alrighty. Oh. Before we start, I should make sure there's no barbecue stains or nothing on this thing. I well, think we're all good. Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, this week's episode of Puck Luck. Um, we're going to be talking about a few different things. Uh, slow NHL week, so f one of the very few times I've actually done this, we're going to be doing a... Um, going a bit away from the hockey scene for a bit and uh, talking about uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency releasing this uh, new report. First of all, slow news week in the NHL. Why? Because Connor McDavid got hurt. McDavid is expected to be out months, but the way medical staff and NHL teams in general work these days, I'd be really surprised if he wasn't back within uh, probably the next eight weeks, I'll say. I'm gonna, I'll go on a limb and say that. So that's McDavid. McDavid's out and the hockey world mourns uh, Dick Pound. Our boy Dick Pound. Which, first of all, before I get onto the story, can we just discuss for a second how hilarious that name is? I mean, the guy's name is Richard Pound. Dick Pound. Run with it. It's, it's hilarious. He's the chair of the um, International um, Anti-Doping Agency. And they released this brand new report this last week. Um, issuing widespread uh, cheating and uh, tampering with results of, uh, of Russian athletes, just, uh, just across the board. The biggest uh, uh, shock of the announcement was that they recommended ban from all sorts of international uh, competition, uh, specifically Rio next year. Everyone remembers Rio, the next Olympics coming up uh, just next summer. And it would be a huge deal if a, team, uh, if a country like Russia wouldn't be able to compete. Oh, another actually amazing thing about this is that they actually have facilities on the outskirts of Moscow where they send their athletes to go to these special facilities for drug testing. Does that not just remind anybody else, like James Bond? Like, they have these some sort of labs on the outside of the city where they're training the next, like, Ivan Drago, some doped up Swedish Dolph Lundgren to... Go out and destroy Rocky Balboa again. I just, it seems ridiculous that Russia's even doing this, wasting the time. Uh, wasting the money seems about as um, useful as uh, of an expense as, uh, well, espionage in the 60s. What we do know is that this will have large implications for Russia. Uh, they are hosting the next World Cup in 2018. And since everything's been going on with the conflict in Ukraine, lots of people have been calling for Russia to be stripped of its uh, hosting. While that probably doesn't seem very likely, something like this brought to light does kind of highlight the how Soviet Russia still is when it comes to sport. All right, so that brings us to the end of our Dick Pound story. No more Dick Pound talk for now. I hope he shows up later because that name is just too good to pass out. The Toronto media this week were all about uh, William Nylander, who is a Toronto prospect with the Toronto Marlies and is playing fantastic hockey. And I just can't believe it was published on a national level, level is that the guy um, is making strides to make the NHL. Lo and behold, a AHL hockey player who is working in the farm team of a National Hockey League team is doing everything he can to make the big leagues. Uh, in 12 games played, he has 7 goals, 7 assists, uh, 14 points in 12 games. Fifth highest scoring guy in the league. It's very exciting, very good thing for Toronto. He's a very good prospect, young guy. Could be hearing his name a lot in the future. I don't have any reason to tell you why we're talking about it. There are hundreds of players in the AHL working their butts off to make the NHL. That's kind of their purpose in that league. No one goes to the AHL to think, ah, I've made it, this is good. No, you're one step below the NHL. You want to be in the NHL. So, um, yes, William Nylander wants to do anything to be in the NHL, and he's making great strides. Fantastic. I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say William Nylander does not play... 30 games this season for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Probably not even 25, but I'm going to keep my bet safe and just say 30. Uh, besides that, guys, I don't really have really much else to talk about. And uh, with that, I can put this to an end. And that is your Puck Club for the week.